Hey guys, my Kassan here. Double whammy here. We've it's over. The, the, the saga of light and dark in Destiny 2 has come to an end. We have unmade the witness, the source of agents. We didn't go, we didn't have to deal with agents, intermediaries, or some extensions. No. We went to the heart of what caused the collapse and literally unraveled the composite being that was oh, the greatest threat to humanity as far as Destiny 2 is concerned. So yes, but now, what's next? On one hand, I'm glad I, on one hand, I am glad I didn't have to wait as long as I had to for the Kingdom Hearts Light and Darkness saga to end. Yeah, that was a pain. But now, unfortunately, there's still a lot of loose ends here. Like, we got Zivu Arav, mortal, but still a work, still a player here. According to cutscene as well, Sabathun, it seems she is going to take up her brother's sword. Without the witness there, I guess she does, she can take, she can actually take the powers of, well, taking without having to worry about being influenced by the, little bo by the voice on high or deep down in the dark, rather. And don't forget the soul device, and while we got the soul device of get, uh, Vex issued, the Vex as a whole, well, there's still the Vex, and now they're going after failsafe. The Scorn and Fickro, but Crow's on, gonna chase after that. And a couple other people, like House Salvation, but Aramis left. Who knows? But will she come back? Because that ripple effect that happened, the big explosion, could she have felt that and decides to turn around and back to Seoul? Who knows? There's, of course, Spider. What's he going to do now? And, oh boy, who knows? Who knows what else here? There is still so much there that could be a potential threat here. Never mind the intense energies of both light and dark bleeding out of a portal with it from a traveler's pale heart. That could, I can see mutations happening from that. God knows what it could do right, floating right on Earth here. The reaction to several things like... Again, this is also a good, a good way to return several old locations. Because, yeah, those are the locations that's a curious thing. Like, what's going to happen to Venus, Mercury, and all those other planets and such that are cut off because of what the Witness and the Black Fleet did? Speaking of the Black Fleet, there is a case with the Pyramid ships here that are still not in, well, not in the Traveler. Because remember when we entered the pyramid ship again in on the moon, the ghost replied that the ship it like it wanted uh, a helmsman, someone a, a leader, someone to someone to take charge of it. So there is that threat. Like could could Sabathun or heck, what about Aramis with the old the old crew, the pirates of the Elixni? A, a pyramid ship of the, of the Witness would be a hell of a flagship to have. And that is one, of course, in Sabathun's own throne world. There is a lot. A lot going on and then some here. There is, this, this can go on here. Never mind, they could easily introduce whole new factions now drawn in by the destruction of the Witness. <laughs> so yeah, this is there is potential. Let's see the trailer here. The journey ahead. What happens now? Tier 10 episode. You have to get the episodes here. Episodes are telling singular stories that stand on their own. Mm -hmm. That are also like, building. What happened to the Leviathan? For the future. Of How the is the Enclave? The what about the the rifts? The uh, rifts on Mars. Echo. A direct result of the battle with the witness. The echoes, the yes. The darkness that was holding it together exploded out, colliding with the matter making properties of light, manifesting all of these different memories inside of the witness. Oh boy. The collision of darkness and light created this explosion, <sighs> and so these echoes. Yeah, those like three stars we see leaving the traveler's 
and stuff like that. Echoes. The first echo that we encounter landed on Nessus. Yes, the Nessus. The there is that this echo has transformed the planet, awoken it into something. It's holy crazy. crap. So we go down to Nessus and we immediately realize I that ship. the effects are acting a little strange. I'll say strange. So we work with Failsafe and yeah, the first activity breach executable. And this is a three player activity. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more fault space. For. We've got these big cool like geysers of radio layer that explode out of the ground and you need to cap them off while you're keeping the enemies at bay. Things that have only existed in a Vex net are now coming no. out into the real world. Yeah. And you see that, like, Nessus is different now. E yeah, they started to... As and deeper towards the core, it really starts to become very... Apparent. Holy crap! So you're gonna go down into these landmarks, and you're gonna... Could this also be the return of... Civilization. Of a loss of... We I have a mysterious new enemy, and they are able to do things that we have not encountered in an enemy before. We're seeing new behavior Ooh. from the Vex. Who is behind this? But also, what are they doing and to what end? This is all the Vex. This is also a good way to bring in... Okay, let me let me stop there. I want to talk about that. So, yeah. The Vex, have, one of the biggest hurdles the Vex never could overcome was comprehending paracausality, i.e. the powers of the Guardians the Traveler, the Darkness, and the Witness, the, what they've got, they just could never comprehend it. But now, could they? If that echo gave, gave, them, the, gave them a way to understand, or at the very least harness those powers without needing to understand it? Ah, oh, I don't know. Also, but if Vex are involved... Asher Mir, he could come back. They teased him here. We, we know he's in the Vex network. He's appeared in a few times. Like, there was a friendly harpy all the way way back during the whole season of uh, with the uh, Elixney moving in to the last city. And then there was, like, when Neil Mooney, like, in the simulation, we see Asher Mir if you're quick enough. Oh, now Revenant. Oh. Oh. It's going to be... Very fallen theme. Fallen. Fallen. Uh, don't the Alexney. Home planet anymore. Reese. Reese yeah. Been gone for a long time, and they've been looking for a new home across the galaxy. That's a that's the House of Wolves. It has more dark fantasy themes. It's about slaying vampires with a touch of spice. Something to change. The player gets Mies Rax. Baron. We'll learn that Flair. in Alexney culture, this was a role that was reserved for the most renowned monster. Oh no! No! Time, the Worm Gods! Into the oh, nice! Fantasy. Oh, Vampire Hunter! Oh, cool! Called potion crafting. Potion. Potion. I know. Fact directly, then your loot potions. Those are going to allow you to have agency over the rewards that you're chasing. What we'd like to do in year 10 is give players more agency in their pursuits. You'll see more experiences where you can kind of decide what you want to do in this next step. Fickrel is back. Fickrel, there we go. The, is what he the Echo? To build his new army of darkness. And he's moved into uh, an Awoken Watchtower. Fickrel's Vampire Keep. Whoa. We took a lot of inspiration. Vampire Keep. That one. I, mean, he's, I mean, that makes sense. The score in our, by all rights, Undead Elixney. Oh, by corrupted ether and everything like that. Ooh, so he's got the echo and vampire like dark fantasy, and it looked like the some fallen are gonna make a deal with the worm gods. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy, that's gonna be something. Heresy is about the high pantheon dealing with some new interesting revelations that happen. We want to Oryx. take the high pantheon and shake up the snow globe. Yes, there are. It means that we want to take the existing relationships that we see inside of it and put them through such a stress test that they they're already changed. Yeah, because they're already pretty stress test here. It's like they were under major stress test. Since we killed Oryx, no one took the throne or anything like that. And even and double and even more so when Eris became 
the hive god of vengeance and the most powerful hive god ever. She was given everything and she and she abandoned it. She just let it go just because just to just for that one desire here, one one proclamation banishing Sivu Ra from her throne world. What she did will completely go against the sword logic and now Oh boy, but yeah, there's stuff here that also um in the kind of lore, there is the mother of the three. In Heresy, there's this new eldritch force that's bubbling up to the surface that is opening new doors, creating powerful <clears throat> mysteries, and ultimately they lead us back to the dreadnought. Yes! The dreadnought! <laughs> Finally! Finally, what happened to it? We're, we're, we're probably gonna know more here, much like how uh, the revelation of Scarlet Keep. Like we, I don't know, but like how, like how, did you guys know this was happening? Yeah, like we kind of we had we had eyes on it, like it's construction, but we were too busy with all this stuff in the Red War. Fans might think we've forgotten about the Dreadnought. I yeah, I kind of did. But we're gonna give it a whole new purpose. We want this to be an eldritch, inscrutable fortress of secrets. The peeling that you'll see on the Dreadnought, the weapons themselves Ooh. are peeling back to reveal a new spooky, bony front. Ooh, I like it. Since oh! It deals with kind of two big themes. We have two armors. Oh, oh, oh. Go back, go back, go back. Let me see that. Oh! Almost, almost like French-inspired. I can definitely see the French inspiration there. <laughs> Least deals with kind of two big themes. We have two armor sets. We've had some armor sets that are kind of in the Eris theme in the past. Yeah? This is like straight up Ameris's squad. Ameris, yep. And then the Hive Ship Navigator armor set explores like, what if I we want were driving the ship? What if we were the navigators? Mm. If you really like Shattered Realm, if you really liked the coil, you're going to yeah. love this new Dreadnought. Okay. Actually. With every episode, there are a ton of interesting twists and turns that I don't think anybody's really going to suspect. We haven't seen anything like this in Destiny before, and I'm excited to get after it. This spooky. <laughs> yes. I'm just glad we, we're returning to Dreadnought. Because what have you guys been doing with it? Well, I mean, what has what's been happening in universe? And why couldn't we in universe go to Dreadnought? Give me an can I get an in universe explanation at least? Eh. Uh, but of course, so we'll get we're at least getting that answer here. I imagine you would say the third echo went in there, went into the Dreadnought. I gotta imagine, like it's the Dreadnought is Oryx's throne world literally inverted. It, I know it was such an icon, such a like monumental moment in Hive history that they that that it may, created a national holiday called Inversion Day, which um, involves turning living creatures inside out. I'm not kidding. If you don't know, if you don't know that. But I, I'm not joking. But yeah, there's again, that's just that here. But we need to know other stuff as well here. Like, again, I said Mars, that there's a time anomalies there in the Pyramid uh, Temple, the Enclave there. There's, there's a lot. So yeah, year 11. Codename Frontiers. It makes me think, are we going further out of system? Or are we bringing back, or we're expanding what's there here. Like, we're going to see more of Earth. There, I've always, I'm again, I'm more, more interested in see. I'm very interested in seeing like parts of Earth, like old Chicago, that kind of stuff. We've got the EDZ, the Cosmodrome, so many locations you could do on Earth. 
Uh, Mars had, yeah, we've we got the Braytech, look, Braytech here, and then we've got the original location of uh, from D1. There's so much, but, oh, you know what? I'll take this. We're, we're turning. Ness is getting a facelift. <laughs> Ooh. We're Fickrel's coming back with, I guess, we're exploring pirate fleets, I don't know, and the Dreadnought. The Dreadnought. Oh, boy. I'll I'll be very very interested to see just how much it's changed. Big thing, of, of course, though, is will tower finally be fixed? Of sorry, sorry about that. Uh, did the next trailer here? We'll begin soon. Uh, yeah, the tower, the tower that's been wrecked since the Red War. Has it gone? Is it finally gonna be fixed? We finally got to go up there. Hell, um, will we finally go into the city? That's really what I want. Well, one of the things I want. I'm sure it's one of the things a lot of people have, been, have asked for. But I also see all those things, the armor and weapons, and I'm thinking, we need more vault space. You gave us a hundred, it's not enough. A voice spoke to me on Nessa. I could not deny its command. Saint 14? Uh oh, what voice? Ooh. I hear it still. The witness is dead. Yes, but. In that victory, something new emerged. At first, we didn't know what to call them, but Echo seemed apt. Yeah. You won't be alone. We're oh. sending our best. Okay! Once the Vex is greatest opponent, yep. I should remind them. <laughs> oh, yes! Show them why you're Saint 14! Show them why you survived the infinite forest! Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah! Oh. Are they locking you down? Oh! They put your collar on ya! Him shaking up like that. He's always so strong. Yeah, he is. Do not forget what you're dealing with. Uploaded. Oh, cock the shotgun, Nikora. I will be ready. We got a new. And let's come to tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Echoes. Are, like, they taking, uh, exo shape? Human shape? Or is it someone? Could it be Ash or Mir? Could it be Maya Thunderish? Oh, -hoo -hoo! That would be hell sight here. Like, oh, after having Lakshmi and everything, uh, maybe. Uh, boy, it was a shock to learn that Cade in was originally the personal bodyguard of Maya Sundaresh and Lakshmi. Oh, Lakshmi, um. What happened to the body? Yeah, maybe you should get the body of Lakshmi to the Neo Mooney. This looks like something that definitely look into Neo Mooney tech. Thinking of speaking of Neo Mooney as well here with um, all that happening. I, I guess we could think that maybe some of the Shadow Legion will gain enough of a personality and try to carry on the witnesses final orders does that become zealot or maybe try to go out on their own doubtful i mean who knows <sighs> but oh god i love that, that that scare right there let's i'll be curious to see what happens who is this person will asher mir play a part 
Will we see the return of of Io? Who knows? We'll see tomorrow when Echoes begins. And uh, yeah, for this one, I will not be streaming this. Uh, just I'm playing for myself. But join me if you want. So everyone, thank you for watching. As always, comment all you all thought. Like and subscribe for more videos. How excited are you? How uh, disappointed that we're not getting some old locations back. <sighs> we'll see, because I'm still wondering the effect of the Traveler, the light and darkness seeping, bleeding out of it here. It's not going to happen instantly. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be something that will, the effects will be felt slowly. And when they finally emerge, holy crap. But who knows how long it's going to take. So until then, this is Mikasan. I'll see you guys next time.